Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you five tips to use with physics. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys five tips that are actually very helpful if you wanna learn how to use physics. So yeah, by the end of this video, you guys will be an absolute pro at using physics. So yeah, no more yapping, let's get right to the tips. I'm doing all the tips right below where all the old tips were in the last, last, last tip video. But yeah, just like every tip video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you, I'm gonna teach you guys literally right now. And then I'm gonna show you how to build these. So the first tip is just things you should do, not do, but just basically stuff about the physics the second tip i'm going to show you guys is how to make a working basketball thing working baseball thing up oh, that's not okay working baseball what working baseball there we go working bowling ball i am really booty at that why is it drifting no get this but for the third tip i'm going to teach you guys how to make a rolling like ball thing dodger lava i don't know just how to do this and then you get the cheese and for the fourth tip i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this so you get the little control panel and then you launch the missile or not a missile like a bomb thing and for the last tip that uh you guys are actually probably going to be thanking me for is how to do this basically you see this box right here i grapple touch it and everything body literally everything this door does not open so i'm going to test some things out so let's go ahead and put the poop in there then it open let's go ahead and put the yoohoo in there still hasn't opened but if we get the porta potty throw it in there the door freaking opens that's gonna be five tips i'm gonna be showing you guys how to build literally now soon in three seconds and yeah let's start building for the first tip is just gonna be basic things you should know about the physics number one is how to actually make it so that you can grab one of the blocks it's really simple you can't do it with one block though by the way you have to have two blocks and then you group them both together then you enable physics and then you are able to grab them next mini tip if you want to grab concrete like literally if you get if you get two white blocks group them both and put physics you can't grab it whatever you do and something stupid i did in last video is i said if you want to know how to do it then just put a wood block inside of it group them both and then you can grab them and that was really stupid to me here's an easy way to make it so that you can grab it without having a block inside of it basically what you want to do is you want to go to your block and there's a little button down here called grabable so you click that put it on that one too put them both in the same place group them both then enable physics now you can grab on it so don't do don't do this, please. Another thing you should know is that if you make a block grabbable, you can throw it and it can also collide with other things. For the second last mini tip, um, let's say you want to make it so that if I grab this or anywhere, everywhere, you all of them can come up. Instead of clicking grabbable on each single one, just group them all to get... What the... Um, guys, that's not... Um... Okay, now it's working. I don't know what the heck that was. But you want to just group them all like that, then click grabable. So that's an easier way to do it. Then, you know, grip it, add physics, and now you can grab them all. So that's just a quick way instead of having to click um, grabbing on each single one. For the last mini tip or something you should know is that when you add physics on lava and grapple blocks, you cannot grapple them for some reason. You can grab this one, but you can't grab that one. So, you know, that's something useful. I don't know. Okay, now that the things you should know is done, let's show you guys how to make simple little game things let's start with basketball so first of all you're gonna make your court you know do whatever you want you're gonna grit grit yeah just love seeing grit you're gonna get uh uh you know white concrete block. I, I like to call it concrete by the way i don't call these color blocks i call them concrete we're gonna get your white concrete you know make another one like that so now that you have two of them in there you're gonna color them whatever color you want then you're gonna make them grabbable then you're gonna group add physics and now you have a basketball <sighs> i am terrible Air ball. Let's go on better. That's for the basketball. Now for baseball. You want to do the same thing with the basketball and put a white ball there. And then for this, really simple. Just create your bat however you want it. Color it, grabable, group, enable physics. You have your bat and just go ahead and... That was a really good one. Now for the bowling. Why am I so booty? That's nice. Yes. Yes! All you do, same thing with the ball, basketball, but put a bowling ball. For these, just make your pin, group them, enable physics, don't put grabbable, no grabbable, and then light them up all, and then you should have a working bowling thing. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't that bad for the third tip is how to make that falling thing animation thing basically all you do is make your like ramp going up and also have a room up here that has a slider that can move something if it wants to fall then what you do next is you're gonna get that animated one two flip it over here another frame put start activate off 
Hit play, make sure it's perfect speed. Now that you have that on, get a trigger block. You can't see the trigger block for some reason, but just make sure, just know that it's all right here. There's a, literally a trigger block. Then you want to put hand, head, and feet. Put connect. Put on that one that you animated. Put on start. After that, you're going to get lava. Make it whatever color you want. I don't know. Group two of them together in there. Enable physics. Start spamming these around here. Just like that. Go back and let's test it out and see how it works. So go in here i don't know why those two haven't moved yet oh i know why because they're not touching the thing now they should work they weren't touching the thing yeah there we go now they all fall together there we go that's how to make whatever this is like a freaking indiana jones thing now for the two that are most important to the video to be honest those ones are just basic stuff this is the real stuff you guys should learn um fourth tip you ready know control pad boop and it shoots a freaking bomb here's how to make it okay yeah so the first step you want to do is animate your shooting gun thing my bob and make it so that when it hits the ground you remember when it hits the ground so make it go straight underground because that thing's gonna pop up like an explosion so i put like at 190 that should be good okay remember 210 there we go 210 look at the sign 210 also remember where the cannonball lands so about there then we're gonna get this then we're gonna put two frames put it like at mm, like 750 and then put this one at this so 210 then we're gonna make it fly up put that at 211 shake it shake it while spending frames and then put it back down at the next one so 255 so it's gonna be 256 then put start active off now we're going to connect our trigger to this one i already did that sorry didn't have it on video and then we're going to connect this one so now that we connected those two together it should do a perfect time explosion boom now that is done now that's done we're going to group our control panel don't group it yet put grabbable and then group then enable physics then i'm going to put our trigger on there then group that then enable physics again boot that and if i'm 100 percent correct there we go that is how to make a working control panel explosion bomb that is very slippery that is weird now for the last and final tip the one that is going to be very helpful to you like very helpful how did i miss that so first of all you want to get your door or whatever you're going to use for this and you're going to animate it to move wherever you want i'm just going to do a simple door open like that then you want to get your other choice of options so that whatever you're going to pick up and if you put it in something or turn something or turn on something it opens whatever you want and then you want to get your three options or five or ten whatever how much things you want but for me i'm just going to use a yoohoo porta potty and a caca first thing you want to do select all of your things put grabbable group enable physics so yeah we have our yoohoo now to put in there then do the same thing but with our porta potty so grabbable group enable physics put it down and we have a porta potty same thing blah 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 boom so now how to make it so that you need a certain type of thing to put it in there. So pick your choice. I'm going to pick the porta potty. You're going to name your porta potty or whatever you're going to use. I'm going to name it Open One Kaka. There we go. Open One Kaka. Then you're going to go to your trigger. Turn off hand. Make sure none of these are on. Go to name groups, add. So put the same name you did as a porta potty. So open space one Kaka. So now that you did all that, go to the door, or not the door, go to the trigger. You're going to click connect, connect it to the door, put start, and you're done. So now if I get the caca, it ain't gonna open. If I get the yoohoo, it's not gonna open. But if I get the open one caca, 9,000 plus 100, the door opens. And then we get our yummy green goo or whatever. Oh, I gotta burp, whatever that is. And that concludes everything. That is five tips about the new physics. If you guys want me to make a part two with six physics tips, I don't know how I'm gonna create any of these. This video gets 350 likes. I'll do a part two. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Put a thumbs up, cat, and clover cleave thing in the comments if you guys learned anything new in here. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, join my Discord link is about. And it's in the comments, and I'll see you guys later.